Hi everyone. What we have here is a pick a card and this is what you don't see coming. So it's pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So take a minute and decide which pile is right for you. And let's go ahead and get this started. See you there. Hi, pile number one. Let's take a look and see what we've got. A new start is coming. Beautiful. So this is meaning that a new start is coming your way. It could be for many different reasons. It could be that you're just ready for a new beginning. However, you don't see this coming, so it's going to be some sort of a surprise. And here you have strength. And what's coming to me on this is when you find out about this, you are going to be strong. So it could either say that, you know, you're uncertain about this, or even if you love this, you're going to have the strength you need to let it just go ahead and play out. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other Oracle cards and then we'll get some tarot. Here you have leg, stepping into a new experience. Put that right there because that's exactly what this is. A stubborn, aggressive person, discord among family or friends. Friends or family. Okay, so this could easily be the reason for the new beginning. That there's somebody that's really disagreeable. And it could even be family. It could be friends or family. So that also is probably why the strength is coming in. Let's see what we have here. Okay, here you have the Eight of Swords. This is where you're feeling stuck. So the situation is making you feel like you don't know which way to go, you know, where to turn, how to correct it. And the way this is looking is there really might not be anything that you can do to correct it. You might find something along the way, um, but the potential exists that there might not be. And you have the hanged man. So what this is saying is you're going to go within, use your intuition, your wisdom, you know, all the things that you have within you to try to figure this out because you have questions and you have a wealth of knowledge within you. Okay. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is you are going to come out of this feeling very abundant. It's an individual energy, but it's one where you feel the abundance. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this new start is coming. You're stepping into a new experience. And it looks like it is because there are problems with somebody that is probably close to you because it says friends or family and they're being stubborn, aggressive, unreasonable, you know, really not wanting to deal with this. So you're needing to use your strength. And it looks like you are trying to go in and find a solution. And whether you find a solution with them or not, it's creating a new beginning for you. And it's going to be one where abundance is coming in for you. Okay, let's clarify. Let's see if we can get a card for this part right here. What, you know, discord among family, friends, stubborn, aggressive person. All right. 
Here's the Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning. So this might be part or you are beginning in its entirety where you are now seeing clearly. You know, here, when you're in this kind of energy, you're not seeing clearly because you're not in flow, right? You're feeling stuck. But going through the time of introspection and using your intuition and wisdom, it's bringing you a new beginning, hmm? stepping into a new experience. And this is where you're seeing the truth. You're using your wisdom and what you apparently really couldn't see before, you're seeing now. So you have this strong sense of truth. You can see what's going on. And it's by using your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this could be you and or them. On the you side, it would be, you know, you holding tight because this is friends or family. You know, and um, how we do with friends and family oftentimes is either we overlook issues or we're just willing to accept them, you know, because you know you can't change anybody. So you either accept them or you don't, right? So on your side would be that you're just willing to accept what is and love them regardless. Now on their side, it could be that they're holding on very tight to something and they refuse to let go. Right here it says stubborn, right? So they're just refusing to let go of whatever this is. And here's the chariot, which is a powerful energy and it is one of going forward with what it is you want. And again, this could be both you and them. Them, you know, being very stubborn and going for whatever it is that they are wanting. And for you, it is, well, I've done all I can. I can do no more. You know, I've tried to figure it out. So it's time for a new beginning to go forward and not that you're, you know, leaving them behind necessarily at all. It could be that you're just going to allow them to be who they are. I mean, you really don't have any choice otherwise. They're going to be who they are. And you're going to either continue to accept them that way or draw the line, you know, have the boundaries. And from the way this looks, it's probably creating some boundaries, you know, having the strength and creating these boundaries. Okay, let's um, see. Whoa, well, these just came jumping out. Okay. <laughs> All right, your new beginning here. You have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is your connection with the Divine. And it's also about learning. So you are getting in touch with your inner self, your higher self, the divine, and coming to grips with whatever this is. And it looks like it's a learning experience for you. You might not have had to deal with something like this previously. Here, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very strong energy. He goes for what he wants. He's very adamant about it. And he tends to get what he wants. So this might be where you've kind of put your foot down, right? Using your strength. It would be a scenario of, I love you. I'll always love you. And if I have my way, you're going to be in my life. But I have boundaries and we can't cross those boundaries. Okay. Here's the star. So what you're wanting really can come true. Now, this is, of course, for the good of all, and you can't change people. So what you want can come true for you, right? Which would be you having this new beginning, using your strength, and keeping your boundaries intact. And this is just saying that what you're wanting is here for you. This new beginning is here. 
Okay. Now, let's um, see if we can get an answer or maybe a clue as to what is going on with them. What the problem might be. Okay, you have the Page of Cups. Um, pages are not experienced, not nearly as experienced, either that or even if they're a master of something, there's some aspect that they're not a master of that they have to learn. Okay? But this is saying they're ready to go forward with something. And... According to this, they're ready to go forward with the truth. And they had the world. So, at least in their eyes, they feel that they are seeing the truth. And they're ready to go forward with it. And maybe they have let it be known what they think. And so... It's bringing an end to a cycle. Maybe we can take another card. Okay. They've been unhappy with how things are going. And since this is family and friends, it would indicate that something with the relationship between the family and or friends, there is some sort of strain you know, where they're not happy. They think that something is askew. Okay. And here they have the magician. So this is them manifesting. Mm-hmm. So it looks like they are manifesting what they feel is right for them. A new beginning going for their passion. Okay, they feel, whoever they may be, that they're in the right because they feel like they're using their truth. Now, mind you, right here, it's letting you know that they're not a master of something or at least part of it, right? It's more of a youthful energy and it's not chronological age. It's, you know, what they've learned to date or haven't learned. But in their eyes, they do believe that they're seeing the truth. And so they're closing out of a cycle. And from the looks of this, it's where they probably feel like they've been done wrong. So they're manifesting their new beginning of what it is they want. And it is causing an upheaval, right? And over here on your side, it looks like you've really tried to get this figured out. And... What you're doing is using your strength and having a new beginning. And like I said, uh, it's not that you're leaving them behind, but you are setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. Let's get a few cards for you to see what we come up with. Beautiful. You have the sun. So yeah, definitely you're getting out of this energy. And I could see this just by these three cards. Here you are feeling stuck because of whatever is going on with this family or friend. And, you know, trying to figure it out. And you end up coming out happy and content with your abundance. So, yeah, the sun is here, which is, by the way, the very best card in the deck, letting you know that things are going to be good. The happiness is coming, love, abundance. And this can also say, and it, it's not that this is in the card itself. This is more intuitive or more, you know, experience related. That the possibility exists that when they get out of this energy, when they progress to one that has more knowledge and wisdom, that things might very well change, okay? 
and it doesn't have a timetable. It could be tomorrow. You know, it could be in a year or two. I have no idea. But I think that probably there will be a softening. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're letting go of the problem. And putting up those boundaries. And here is a celebration. Yeah. So it's for you. It's going to be very good. Even the stuck energy is because of what's going on with them, right? You're going inward, using your intuition and your wisdom, right? And coming up with, you need to just drop it, let it go, let it end. Put your boundaries up and go forward. And yeah, it's a much better situation. And you're going to end up coming out feeling so much better by putting up your boundaries and just letting this not go, as in leave, but letting your connection to the problem go. All right? And this energy right here is one of a celebration. But the way I feel about this always is that it is one where you feel at ease, where you're around the people. It could be family, friends, coworkers, anybody that you really care about. But you feel totally at ease. You don't feel like you have to have boundaries, barriers, you know, put on a mask, anything like that. You can just be you. So that's beautiful. Okay, let's see if the universe... Let's see what the universe would like to share. And this is, this reading is what you don't see coming, right? And I'm sure, you know, you didn't see this coming, but I think you probably had an inkling that there was a problem. And at some point, this problem was going to surface. Yeah, it's just a feeling I get. Beautiful. Very fast, positive moving energy coming straight into you. Strength. So that's twice you've had strength. So you're very strong through this. <laughs> yeah. And this is like the cherry on top, right? This is the Ten of Pentacles where you and the people you love that you know you want to be around everything is going to be calm happy and it's you know even where you can leave a legacy if you choose but so the outcome for you which is what this reading is about right is going to be fast moving positive energy where you're strong and where there is much happiness enjoy coming in okay so I guess the moral of the story is there are times when you have to be strong and put up boundaries mm -hmm. and sometimes it's very uncomfortable but the outcome from that will definitely benefit you and will probably benefit them as well when everything is done for the good of all this is something that they will learn from, right? Okay, there you have it. I guess we should take a charm and then we'll be done with this reading. A heart, which I think is beautiful. So what this is saying to me is there is much love here for them okay the love has not changed just the tolerance for the behavior has thank you so much i really hope this helps much love bye hi pile number two 
This reading is what you don't see coming. So let's take a look and see what we have. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So what this tends to say is that there's been something in your past that's happened where you need to turn that knowledge into wisdom. Reason being, most likely, is there is a situation coming up, or it could be currently here, it depends on where you are in this, where you need to draw on that wisdom. Okay? If it was something beautiful that happened, well, you know, you can follow a similar course if it turned out well, right? Because you know how things tend to go with that. If something happened that was a challenge, you need to use this wisdom to know what not to do, all right? But yeah, this is definitely saying whatever is going on now or coming up, you're going to need to draw on the past, your memories of the past. You know, look back and see what it was that is similar to what's coming up and make sure that you've turned that knowledge into wisdom so you know either what to do or what not to do to make the best decision possible and how to go forward. Okay, what do we have here? Success. Beautiful. So that's telling me that whatever is going on, whatever you're doing, is going to end up being successful. Okay? Here, absolutely beautiful. This is the Empress, which is a wonderful energy and very powerful. She's all about the love. She is the mother archetype. She is very creative and she is all about the abundance. Very caring. So in this regard, that is a beautiful energy to get. Not only are you going to be successful in this endeavor, but you might very well be coming out ahead. Okay? Ah, conflict. So, this is probably where this is coming from. It depends on all the variables, you know, all the cards that are out. But this could be conflict. It could be potentially training, competition. But I do feel like it's probably conflict. So there's something either that you're currently in or that's coming up that you don't see yet where there's going to be some conflict involved. Okay? And here you have the Three of Pentacles. This is where you're not alone. Okay? There is more or are more involved than just you. People are coming together to create what you need in order to be successful. So that's really nice to see that you have help here to create what it is. And it is also an energy of being successful. So to put this more in you know, a chronological thing here. We should actually do it like this. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. Use your wisdom to deal with this conflict. And it looks like you're going to have more than just you involved that's working with this to get a positive outcome, which you are. You're bringing in the Empress energy, and it's going to create a successful outcome. Now let's see what we have here. Okay, dog, protection from a powerful friend. So I would say this probably falls in to this energy because there's more than one of you. There are a group of you. So you have help here. And now these other two are time frames. So the time frame where this might come into being or might be resolved 
is anywhere between April and June. So April, May, June. So that would be in the springtime. Okay. So how about we get a few cards to clarify. Okay, let's see if we can gain any understanding about what it might be that is coming up that this argument might, you know, have to deal with. Okay, judgment. Rising up. This is where you've been doing something or they've been doing something, but that they are rising up out of that and into the new them. Okay, so this is a very good sign that whatever this conflict is and whoever it's involving, that it looks like things are going to turn out great. In, you know, including them, whoever they may be. So that's beautiful. Temperance. Yeah, this is looking really good. Okay, this is balance, harmony, alchemy. You know, working together to bring in a harmonious resolution. And you have the Knight of Swords. So this is, you know, taking quicker action, but using wisdom, the truth, being able to see clearly what's going on. So what I'm getting from this, whatever the problem is here, it does look like it's getting resolved in a beautiful way because you have judgment where everybody's rising up I'm going to put this over here so you can see. You know, everybody that's working together to solve whatever this issue is, very effective, rising up, you know, which is almost creating a new beginning or one where maybe you're turning the knowledge that you're gaining into wisdom. I was talking about looking to your past, you know, and using the wisdom from that, which I still say holds, but this also might be that whatever's going on here is giving you more knowledge to turn to wisdom. And what I feel about this is not every disagreement, argument, um, upset is going to end up in a separation. No. Oftentimes there are answers that lead to a beautiful success. And I think that's what's happening here. Yeah. Because here is balance and harmony and alchemy, you know, working together to make this come together in a positive, successful way. And it's by using the truth, the wisdom, and seeing clearly. So that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a surprise. I really wasn't expecting that. I'm so glad to see that, though. And you know how life is. We can get in arguments or disagreements. And when we work together, we can overcome them most of the time. But sometimes, not so much. But it looks like in this case, definitely, everything's going to turn out beautiful. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. So, for me, you know, this is about what you don't see coming. You don't see this problem coming. But even when you do see it, I'm getting the feeling that it's like, oh, no. Major falling out might not be able to be repaired. But what you don't see coming as well, so there might be two of these, is that everything's going to turn out beautifully. Mm-hmm. Yay. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. Happiness. Wonderful. Yeah, definitely happiness. The King of Swords basing all 
his decisions on what he knows to be true, and he's full of wisdom. So the word wisdom has popped up here quite a few times. Mm -hmm. So truth and wisdom is what's leading the way to this success. And going within, so to me this is also using what's within, you know, wisdom that's within, that's inside of you. But seeing the truth, knowing the truth, there's also, it's I think a balance of the mind and the heart, but a lot of mind here. Here is intuition and wisdom. Going within and finding the enlightenment, you know, the, the hermit has his lantern, so the way is lit, and they can follow that to their enlightenment. So yeah, here to me, a lot of this has to do with using your wisdom and whoever you're doing this with, using their wisdom to overcome a disagreement and make it to where it is just beautiful, the outcome. So I think I said something about, maybe I didn't, but where this might actually turn out even better than how it started, right? Here's happiness and mastery of the truth, finding the enlightenment, the success, and protection from a powerful friend. So you also get to learn, if you don't already know, who good friends are. Beautiful. Yay for everything turning out great. <laughs> okay, let's get a charm. Mmm. Very nice. You have the turtle. Okay. For me, this would say a couple of things. One, that this might not start and end in a flash. Now, you do have the Knight of Swords, which is a fast-moving knight. Matter of fact, the fastest. And here you have April, May, June. But the turtle moves very slowly. Okay? So this might say it, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time, which is fine. Turtles also don't want to get involved in fights and arguments. It does not serve them. It doesn't serve anybody. So they are very wise. Again, the word wisdom coming in. Slow moving, and they win the race. Okay? By using their wisdom and being deliberate in their actions. Okay? So to me, this is saying, oh yeah, Use that wisdom, and I think I've only said that word probably 20 times now. And much better to work together to be on top of it than try to just race through. It's going to come out beautifully. And whatever this conflict is, will be gone. So thanks so much. I really hope this helps. Much love. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome. Let's see what we have for the what you don't see coming. You have two angel cards. I went to just take one, but two wanted to come out. So let's see what they are. Ask for help from others. And this is really a wonderful thing to do. It truly is, just in general. Because we are not alone, all right? You see these two together. When you have more than one, it really is a beautiful thing. It really is. If you need help, ask for help. It will be here for you. Trust. <laughs> yeah, trust in it. Do trust that the help is here for you. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, pain, okay. So it looks like something here is, or will be, or has, depends on where you are in this, caused something that's hurt, hurtful, you know, 
that's causing you pain. Okay, let's see what we have here. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Time to get out of a situation. Temporary situation. Okay, well these two, I'm sure, go together. It's time to get out of the situation, which is a temporary situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently it is causing you pain. Now here we have dealings or relationship with the younger man. This could be part of this, but it does not have to be. I mean, it could be here with somebody who's helping you. It doesn't say. So we're just going to set it here with it, though. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. You have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is talking about grieving over something. You know, seeing the negatives or the challenges in something. And it is something, if you look at those cups, they have spilled. Whatever was is gone. Okay? You need to turn around, see the two full cups, which will, in turn, enable you to see the bridge, which leads you to your happiness. But right now, it looks like your focus is on something that has happened. It is done. It is built, but it is causing you pain. Okay, now here you have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a wonderful energy. They are a master. They have lived and experienced a lot. They have a wonderful emotional intelligence, right? They feel all of their emotions. And they act on them, but they refuse to let their emotions rule them. They stay in control of their emotions. So it looks like that this energy will help you greatly deal with this. All right. And you have judgment. Judgment is where you're letting go of something that has happened. Yeah, and I'm sure whatever has caused this pain. And you're rising up to the new you. It's like the new beginning. So it's beautiful. Uh huh. And it does look like whatever the situation is or was, it was temporary. And it's time to get out of it. Mm hmm. Over here, make for sure that you do ask for help from others if you need it. It is here for you. You need to have the trust in that, okay? Let's go ahead and get some clarifying cards. Let's get a card for, or a few cards for pain. What is this about? Well, maybe we should couple these together because I'm sure they are together. This pain is what you're feeling from these three spilled cups. Okay, what it looks like here in this case that somebody did or is doing you wrong mm -hmm. and potentially being quite sneaky about it. Yeah, which is causing pain and hurt. Now you have the Knight of Wands. Quick moving knight going for their passion. Uh -huh. And facing them is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. They're all about making for sure that everything is done right. They don't care how long it takes. What they care about is being very accurate, getting all their T's crossed, I's dotted. It's a wonderful energy. So what I'm getting the feeling of is that 
kind of odd because I usually don't, but that whatever is going on here, they're feeling like they need to hurry up and accomplish it for one. And for two, they're really passionate about it, whatever it is. But whatever this is, is going against what you're about. Okay. And it could be anything. But here you are, this is how I'm seeing this, that you're facing whatever is going on, being very deliberate, really truthful, very accurate. And you're dealing with this. Instead of looking the other way or not knowing it exists, there could be a time where you didn't know it existed but you certainly do find out, okay? And it is hurtful. So that would lead me to believe that whoever this is, you know them, right? That's what makes it hurtful or much more hurtful, okay? Let's see. Um, We know the outcome is very good. Let's see if we can get any more about the outcome. Happiness. Beautiful. Here is where you're feeling stuck. Okay. And it's your emotions. But I'm sure... It's in response to this. So this is making reference to, you know, these spill cups and this pain. Oops. And here is where you're working with others. Remember, ask for help when you need help. And trust that it's going to be here for you. So this is going to go away because you're gonna, gonna get help from people that you trust. And they are very genuine in their attempts. So the outcome is going to be very good. You're gonna rise up and everything's gonna be fine. Matter of fact, there's gonna be happiness. So let's take one more look here and see if we can get anything else about, whoa. I was going to say how this resolves itself. Well, the devil not only came out, it flew out. So kind of what this is saying to me is the situation is probably going to cause a separation. Yeah, that you're going to overcome whatever is going on here. Everything's going to be good. You're going to rise up. And out of this, you are probably going to find some good friends. But as far as this person or this situation goes, it looks like that's out. Okay? But we'll get another card. Okay. Two pages, the Page of Cups, which is love, getting ready to get something started that has to do with love, and the same thing only with truth. So, um, what I feel about this is you probably know this person or people or situation and whatever happened that was challenging was very hurtful right caused a lot of pain but you dealt with it or are dealing with it and you have your support system with you you have help and so everything is gonna heal you're gonna rise up this is going to be gone. 
But these two right here make me feel like you're going to see things in a different way, all right? Where maybe at one time you probably thought that you had the answers. Maybe you're realizing that you're still learning, okay? Learning with love and learning with truth, okay? Which is understandable. Say, just a, an example, say this person or this situation, you totally trusted, right? You would have no idea that they would turn and do something hurtful that would give you regrets and make you feel bad. So it's a lesson learned where you're having to go in, you know, and analyze it and figure out what to turn into wisdom, okay? So even though this is challenging, you're going to learn wisdom from this. And you're going to rise up and have this new enlightenment and happiness and probably some people in your life that have really gained an importance because you found out that they were very caring and wanted to help. And now, mind you, this doesn't have to be something big. It's not the size of whatever it is. It's the impact that it has, okay? Let's see what the universe would like to share. <laughs> I love it. Okay. The universe is telling you the sun is going to come out. Yeah, everything's going to be beautiful. This is happiness, joy, abundance, love. You know, being able to trust all this is coming in at the end, right? Everything is going to be beautiful. So it's a lesson learned and something beautiful is coming out of it. <laughs> and you have the Empress. Love this. Very powerful. She is the mother archetype. And I love it when these two come out together because they have some similarities. And those are that love, happiness, abundance flow in. So, by you going through this and asking for help and getting help and working through the situation, it is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And things are going to flow to you that are wonderful. Here you have the lovers. And what that is saying to me is you had to make an important decision and you made it or you will make it. And it is going to lead to much happiness. Sometimes it's hard to deal with issues like this, but you learn so much from them. And you, in this case, are going to be gaining really good friendship, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and get a charm. It says cookbook. <laughs> okay, what I think this is, you know, cookbooks, I don't think it's literally a cookbook, but this type of book has recipes. It tells you how to do something to get the desired results. And it looks like you either went with whoever your support system was or is, and you came together to figure out the course of action to take, and it was the perfect course of action because the outcome is beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. Much love. Bye.